Hey everyone, we're now offering online photography coaching sessions on our website. Check the link in the description below. And we're on Patreon too. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hey everyone, Lucas from iExplore here. Today I'm in the Tokyo International Forum in Yurakucho, which is a really cool structure as you can see behind me. And I'd like to introduce you to Charles, who's been working with us for a couple of years now. And um, so it's about time that we've had him in a video. So today you're going to show us, what are you going to show us today? Well, basically we're going to work the scene in Tokyo International Forum. All right, so we're here in this spot in the forum. What are we going to shoot here? Okay, so first we're going to shoot, uh, which I'll, I'll call the obvious shot. It's the obvious <laughs> it's shot. It's the obvious it's shot. The obvious <laughs> shot. Yeah. So, um, which is utilizing the leading lines in the building mm -hmm. um, and utilizing uh, the, the bridge through the center, yeah. uh, which zigzags nicely. So uh, essentially you want to center yourself up and get the bridge into the corner, mm -hmm. start in the corner and then, yeah. Okay, cool. And would you say like, I mean, landscape portrait, what do you think we're going to start with? Try both, I guess? Yeah, you want to try both. If mm -hmm. you have a wide lens, then okay. yeah, you really can utilize both. Well, I, I got my, my 28 on my Ricoh today, so I'm gonna, that's, yeah. that's wide enough, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. And what settings would you say, like just so, in terms of aperture? Uh, so uh, F8. F8. Yeah, it's bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. bright day, you got plenty of light. Right. It's not going anywhere. You know, it looks pretty good. So you're saying something like this, right? Yep. Getting those... Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to start the bridge here. in the corner, and yeah, then, cool. yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we were talking about we should be over there, but honestly, it looks pretty good from here. Yeah, it doesn't look bad, does right? it? Not yeah. bad, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Cool. Cool. So, we've moved over a couple of feet. Yep. What are we going to do here? All right, so, next up, we're going to utilize this glass uh -huh. to get a reflection shot of the roof. Uh -huh. And essentially, the key to getting the best out of the reflection, is, uh, out of the glass, is to get as close to the glass as possible, because that's going to give you the best reflection. Right, okay. So, you basically, you want to shoot from in here, so not place the land, like, some tendency is to put the camera up here, but you want to put it here so that you're maximizing your okay. reflection straight off the front of it. Gotcha, yeah, that you, makes sense. Basically, your shot starts here, so yeah. that's what so you, you want to get very yeah, close you to the glass, right? you can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah. That's why I brought this guy, because yeah, yeah. it can actually get really nice and close, so that's going to yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. And then you can, the same shot works with a mobile phone. With a mobile phone, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, essentially with a mobile phone, you can get as close, as, even closer to the glass. And that's the because the lens is smaller. Because the lens is smaller, lens is right? so small, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, And cool. then... But, you know, I've seen this where people do this. Yeah, What's yeah, wrong yeah, with that? Yeah, Essentially, well, your lens is up here, so you want to either flip the camera or take it down. Right. So you're shooting so basically as close as the glass as possible. That's right. So just to show everyone, so he means that the lens is up here on the on the phone. So if I put my phone this way, it's really f far from the glass. So you yeah. got to like I like to turn it upside down, mm. right? But you yeah, saying yeah. I just yeah you do this as well. Yeah, right? that's basically yeah. what I do. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. So. All right, great. Cool. Awesome. So you just discovered something very weird. <laughs> yeah. <it laughs> By was, basically banging yeah. your phone on the glass while you're taking a shot. Yeah, right. But you fight, essentially, you fired, it, fired off the shot too early, I think, as you were placing it on the glass. Yeah. I think that's how you discovered it. And then, yeah, I didn't uh, even know. What, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> yeah. But then, it was a really weird thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, created a, mm. uh, an unusual wavy shot of the forum with a reflection in the glass. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a disclaimer, do we recommend to do this with your phone? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, we don't recommend this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't do this. Yeah, don't do this, but it's cool. But this is how you can do it. So that was that was a fun little thing. Yeah. yeah. It just goes to show you, you can discover cool stuff. Just, yeah. Messing around, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we've done the, uh, the more obvious shot. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've utilized a, a reflection over there. Mm -hmm. And now we're over here utilizing another reflection. Okay, cool, cool, um, cool. But this one's mm -hmm. going to capture essentially the whole of Tokyo International Forum. I see. Down the middle. Um, and yeah, I'll flip this glass there. Okay, so, so we're just trying to like find other reflections basically, right? That we, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So, so show me how you do this shot. So yeah, yeah. so uh, off the reflection here, same deal as before. Mm -hmm. You want the camera back as far as you can okay. and then and, and get it right on the, on the mm -hmm. lip of the lens. Mm -hmm. And then straight down the middle, like that. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Awesome. And that's and, what you And get. the light today is actually really good. Yeah, yeah, the light is Here, spot me, on. Yeah. Let me try one as well. Yeah. Okay. And we're doing these as, as portraits. Yes. But you can do them landscape yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. right? It's pretty good landscape. Looks cool landscape. If you have wide lens, this, yeah. this spot really comes to life too. Yeah, I mean, this is a 28, but I think it's all right. Mm. Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. But and then, 
you found something even better yeah, here, yeah. right? There's, there's, yeah. there's more to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So normally when someone walks into mm. the scene for this shot, mm -hmm. the person's not, you know, yeah. they're not ideal, really. We don't really want them there. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But on one occasion, someone walked into the shot and mm. it made for a, a, a cool pretty good shot. Yeah, it made for a pretty cool shot. Right. Yeah, because yeah. uh, essentially as they walk into the glass, they sort of... I don't know, sort of makes them almost look like they're floating against that like mm -hmm. white background. So if you zoom along the glass right. with someone next to the glass, then... So you need a long lens, right? Oh yeah, you need a long okay. lens, which is, yeah. Which is why, why you brought usual. this bazooka with you today, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, which is okay, why, cool. yeah, because that's the, op the optimal lens for this shot. <laughs> All right, great. Well, we don't have many people, there's nobody here today because it's mm. early in the morning. Yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll practice on each other. Yes. Okay, cool. So I think you should yep. do it first and demonstrate, yep. okay? All right, so, so what are we doing now? So we're gonna uh, shoot down the glass like I was describing before. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, that's why I've changed cameras. Now I want a full frame. Uh, this is an 8200, 2.8 all the way through. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a change. Bit of a change yeah. from the wide yeah, angle, from, right? Yeah, from yeah. what I was using okay, before. Okay, cool. Yep. And why, why do we need a long lens for this shot? Essentially, yeah, you want to zoom, like, you're zooming, like, right in. I think, I, I think yeah, almost, yeah. I think if the shot maxes out to, like, I hit the 200. When you did the, yeah, yeah, the good yeah, shot, the yeah, shot yeah, you yeah, got. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so that's what we're going to do now, right? Yeah, so. All right. So, so yeah, essentially, yeah. 200, and then down the glass like that. So Yeah, it's mm -hmm. hard to kind of get the angle, right? Yeah, let's see if I can get it. Mm. Like that. Okay. Nah. That is really good. <laughs> Actually, I might be able to right? work. Yeah, yeah, get a couple of those. And then... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. What aperture did you use for that? So, I left it at 2.8. So, it was nice, right? soft. That's right, yeah. Because yeah. earlier we were shooting on 8, I remember, right? Yeah, you told yeah. me 8, because yeah, yeah. it's bright in here. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. 8 was fine, but mm -hmm. for this shot... 2.8, yeah, because yeah, you want that nice, soft background. Okay, so. cool. Awesome. So. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there's a bit of a size difference here. Yes. Yeah. Shall we? Is it okay if we switch? Yeah. Did I want to try that? Yeah. I didn't bring my, my telephoto lens today. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Swapping lenses. Oh, jeez. All right. So f2.8, you said? Yeah. And then how do we zoom this thing? You said it's like... Yeah, it's... It's like this. Pump action. Yeah, pump action. <laughs> Extra kinky. Yeah. I've never used a... Uh, I could, yeah. Push and pull zoom lens. That's great. Okay, so that about sums it up for what we did today yeah. uh, here in the forum. I like that you showed me the shot with this lens, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. this thing, because yeah. I've never done that before. Mm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so that was a really fun way to work the scene, a couple different ideas. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we'll leave it there. Mm. And remember always, challenge your eye. Mm.